everybody, I'm Donna from Donna's DIY. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to get started on this little number, but first, why don't you hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. Jump on in to this one. It's going to take me a while to paint this one because of all this little, um, this little section over here. And um, this little part, I damn near boogered up trying to get it out here. I uh, hit it and knocked off a piece of the edge. So I had to clamp it and wood glue it. But, you know, shit happens, right? So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get your Amy Howard's Clean Slate. And this is the product that I use to clean off this whole thing and get all the um, gunk and residue off. And then we're gonna start um, painting it and I'm gonna paint it in Annie Salon chalk paint. So let's get started. So here we have it. This is um, the Clean Slate and I'm just going to wipe it all over and it just gets off all the, the dirt and gunk. Now I'll probably change out these handles because I really don't like them. They're not the original handles. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up on this and clean it up and then we'll come right back. So what we're going to do, I cleaned it all off with the Amy Howard's Clean Slate and now I'm going to use uh, Annie Salone Chalk Paint in Cream. I haven't used this color on anything, but what the heck, let's just put it on this item. And I am just going to start in here. to need is a smaller brush because my handle keeps hitting the top part. And I just dab it in a little bit of water just to thin out the paint a little bit. Just for the first coat. Show you how I paint this. I just go on with an angle brush. Most people would tape it off, but I don't want to. I just come back. Um, I come back with a razor blade and I scrape all that off. To me, that's a lot easier. And then I'm going to go back on with the second coat, and then we're almost done. Okay, everybody, so I'm done with the second coat of this, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Annie Sloan chalk paint in ducking blue, and I'm going to do the inside of this that color. So let's get started on that one. was I did only one coat in the inside with the duck egg blue. Um, there's no need to do two. And now I'm going to take the duck egg blue and I'm going to do um, just some trim work, something to make it pop a little bit more. And I'm not real neat and tidy. I don't like to tape off. Get 
the idea. You could do this. I could have done it in the inside of that. But, you know, I'm just going to keep it. I still have shelf that I need to paint. So, let's keep going on this. So, I'm going to keep doing this. detail work and we'll be right back. I'm gonna need something that's just too yellow so I'm going to do some trim here in the decade blue. I'll we'll touch that up right there. I might even um, just stretch it a little. I think that looks a little bit better. Maybe I could do the trim on that as well. So now I'm going to paint this bottom part. Okay, so I'm going to finish the trim in the back there and then um, here I go changing my mind again and I'm going to paint this right here. Because this... What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to repaint this um, the cream color. What do you think? Should I paint that blue? gotten everything black, not black, blue. Okay, so I changed the color on that, and now I'm going to do the other side, and um, then we need to repaint this real quick. So I'm going to do the other side of that, and we'll be right back. I have to go back and do this right here, and I'm going to use um, the cream color. I'm going to take a razor blade and that's all you have to do. Okay, so now what I ended up doing is I painted that dark wax and I'm going to put it all over. Okay, see how I, um, it's kind of, it's not perfect at all and I don't care because when I do the clear wax and, um, dark wax, you don't have to be all neat and tidy on these things. I'm not all in the lines at all. And what I do is I put clear wax first just so the dark wax isn't so dark. Rub this all in. Now, put some dark wax. And I'm getting it in those cracks.
dark wax does, it kind of hides your imperfections. Ooh, pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this whole thing in, um, you know, the clear wax and then dark wax and then I'll probably put a stencil on, I think, and then um, maybe even a whitewash on top. You know me, I'm never done. What I'm going to use is um, some white chalk paint, and I actually made my own on this one because um, I ran out. So you're just going to dab the white, see here's my white paint, um, just dab it on, and you're going to just brush it lightly, and a little goes a long way. I did it right here and I even think I'm gonna put a stencil up there not a stencil a transfer so just dab off done with doing the whitewash all over and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, transfer and I'm going to put it right here and now I'm going to rub it in dry brush over this. And if you mess up like I 
bag is good. that spot where I boogered it up and put a stencil over it and you can't even see it. You don't want to press hard because the transfer will come off. You just want to do this real light. So there you have it. You know, it doesn't look so brand new. It looks like it's actually painted on. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all this and then um, we should be all done. So what do you guys think? I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm going to put a clear coat over this and that's about it. Uh, and a clear coat of wax all over the rest of it. Um, and both products will be in Sloan Chalk Paint products. Um, the acrylic matte finish I'm going to put on top of that. But for the most part, I'm all done. I think it turned out pretty cool. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. Oh, you know what? I might actually put some gold highlights on that. I will, I think just in the corners. But for now, I'm all done. And make sure to leave me some comments how I did. And I'll see you next time on Donna's DIY. Bye everybody, stay healthy.